dun sa last na video natin about memory management, na-discuss natin ang paging. And sa paging, nalaman natin na ang physical memory and logical memory, mahahati yan into same size partitions. Dun sa logical memory, meron tayong tinatawag dyan na paging. Dun sa physical memory, ang tawag naman natin dun are frames. So, let's say, meron tayong process na ang size is 224 KB. Pwede siyang may store kay physical memory or logical memory. So, ganyan pa yung pagkakaistore niya. Dito sa paging, guys, nalaman natin na wala tayong external fragmentation. Kasi, pwede siyang may store dito sa physical memory or logical memory. So, let's say, meron tayong process size na 380 KB. So, ang mangyayari dito, guys, hahatiin niya yung size na to para mag-fit siya dun sa partitions natin na 250 KB. So, the first 250 KB will be allocated, it's either physical memory or logical memory. So, kung makikita natin yan, guys, ganyan po ang magiging storage niya. So, dito sa logical memory, sabihin na lang natin, this is the page 1 nung first na process. Or, frame 1 nung first na process. Then, meron tayong remaining na 130 KB dun sa process na yon. So, this 130 KB will also be allocated, it's either physical memory or logical memory. Dito guys, on this scenario, magkakaroon tayo ng internal fragmentation. This is one disadvantage of using paging. Bakit siya disadvantage? Kasi, kung makikita nyo, masyadong maluwang yung internal fragmentation niya. And what if magkaroon tayo later on ng process na ang remaining lang, let's say, is 10 KB? Ibig sabihin, i-allocate niya pa rin itong buong 250 KB na partition. So, that is disadvantage in using paging. To fix the disadvantage sa paging, meron tayong tinatawag na segmentation. This is also a type of non-contiguous memory allocation. What is segmentation? Segmentation is a memory management technique in which each job is divided into several segments of different sizes. Each segment is actually a different logical address space of the program. Doon sa paging, meron tayong tinatawag na pitch table. Dito naman, meron tayong tinatawag na segment table. It maps two-dimensional logical address into one-dimension physical address. In segment table, meron siyang dalawang part, the base address and the limit. The base address contains the starting physical address where the segment resides in the memory. So, ibig sabihin kung saan mo mahanap yung isang segment. Then, we also have the limit. It specifies the length of the segment. Kung ano yung size na ma-occupy ng segment na yun dun sa physical memory. So, to better understand that, let's say meron tayo nung secondary memory na to, and same with paging, some part of the secondary memory will be used as the virtual memory or the logical memory. Then, let's say meron tayong program X na kailangang i-execute. This program X will be divided into segments. Itong segments na to are parts of the program X. It can be the module, the library, or some part of the program to be executed. These segments will occupy part of the logical memory. And, kapag kailangan na siyang i-execute, gagamit niya ng segment table para malaman kung saan part ng physical address ang i-occupy ni segment. So, let's say itong mga numbers dito are the segment numbers from segment 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And this will be the Base address. So, yung base address is the starting number kung saan mo siya mahanap dun sa physical address. So, let's say, meron tayo ditong physical memory. For example, dito kay segment 0, meron siyang base na 500. So, ibig sabihin, mahanap mo siya dun sa may 500 part ni memory. Let's say, nandito si segment 0, and ang starting niya is 500. 
So, meron daw siyang limit or meron siyang size na 60. So, ang ma-occupy niya is hanggang 1,100. So, paano na ko yung 1,100? Yung base address na 500 plus yung limit niya na 600. So, 500 plus 600 hanggang 1,100. So, hanapin natin ngayon dito sa base address yung next or yung pinakamalapit kay 1,100. That is the 1,500 na base address. Siya si segment 2. So, big sabihin, starting from 1,500 and ang na-occupy niya is 1,900. So, paano ulit natin nakuha yun? Meron tayo nung base niya na 1,500 plus 400. That is 1,900. So, yung next naman natin guys, yung pinakamalapit kay 1,900 na base address. Meron tayong 2,500. That is segment 1. So, ibig sabihin, yung segment 1 nasa baba ni segment 2. And nag-start siya kay 2,500 na address. Tapos, ang size niya or ang limit niya is 800. So, big sabihin, mag-end siya ng 3,300. So, paano nakuha yung 3,300? 2,500 plus 800 na limit. Then, next ulit na titignan natin is kung ano yung base address na malapit kay 3,300. That is 3,800. Segment 4. So, nasa baba siya ni segment 1. Ang size niya is 300 or ang limit niya. So, 3,800 plus 300 hanggang 4,100 siya. Then lastly, meron tayo nung segment 3, 4,300. Doon siya makikita. Meron siyang size na 200 or limit na 200. So, kung titignan natin guys, walang hati or walang partition si physical memory. Same with the secondary memory or the logical memory. Wala siyang partition. So, dito, wala tayong nasasayang na internal fragmentation. Itong mga bakante siguro dito, those are spaces or free memory or pwede siguro may nag occupy dyan sa mga vacant part ng physical address. Okay? So, Wala tayong internal fragmentation, wala din siyang external fragmentation kasi pwede siyang mag-store dun sa physical memory or dun sa virtual memory. So, that is segmentation. So, that's it guys. Kung may katanungan pa kayo, just comment down below at masagatan natin yan isa-isa. Para sa iba pang tutorial videos, just visit this video. And of course, don't forget to subscribe at hit ang notification bell for more tutorial videos. Bye!